Hello, today I have come up with a topic CSIR, Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. So, this is a research and development organization, and this is the largest research and development organization in India. And it has got 38 laboratories in India and 39 outreach centers, 3 innovation centers, and 5 units. So, this is a huge setup. So it has become the largest research and development organization in India and it was set up uh, in the year 1942, September 1942 and it is in New Delhi and it is looked after by Ministry of Science and Technology and it is an autonomous body. It means it works independently and it is brought through an act called Society's Registration Act of 1860. And the first director general of CSIR is Dr. Shanti Swaroop. So he is the founding director also and the first director general. And uh, it has got a president or a chairman who is going to, who is going to be always the prime, prime minister of India. And it has got a vice president who is the union minister of science and technology. And it has two bodies, governing body and advisory body. So governing body has director general as its head and it also has finance minister and other members also. And advisory body will have 15 members who are very prominent in science and technology, who have well, uh, who are well versed with science and technology, who have good experience in this field. So they will be selected for advisory board. So this advisory board, it advises the governing board for decision taking things and all. And there are so many streams under CSIR, radio and atmospheric science. So radio science about radio waves and atmospheric science and space physics. This is about dealing with uh, spacecrafts, satellites and all and oceanography, study of oceans, geophysics, application or uh, the, uh, the physical aspects uh, of Earth, uh, studying about magnetic field and how it is applied and gravitational field, composition of Earth and all and study of chemicals and research uh, in the field of drugs and all of this and genomics so research in genomics this is a molecular bio biology topic and uh, gene sequencing gene mapping all of them come under genomics and biotechnology application of technology with the use of biological things and nanotechnology so building uh, things with the help of small atoms and molecules and with that small range of uh, atoms and molecules we can uh, build up things with this nanotechnology and mining mineral mining and all aeronautics so building and functioning of uh, flights rockets and even aircrafts all of that and instrumentation instrumentation is all equipment needed for measuring things so physical measuring things are under instrumentation so we use this in industries for measuring various physical aspects of industrial machinery and the environmental engineering applying engineering techniques for environmental protection or environmental problem solving things like waste management recycling all of that which are helpful for environment and information technology we very much know about it and the objectives of uh, csir are i have broadly uh, enumerated them into listed them into uh, five things promotion guidance coordination establishment and utilization so promoting research and development is its main objective and guiding the research and development how to do and uh, through what means like providing labs innovation centers and all so coordinating so there are so many streams and all these streams must be coordinated working they must be built in or working together to get to get a good coordination in research and establishment so as we have seen there are 38 labs so building new labs new outreach centers new innovation centers so establishing infrastructure or big big institutes under CSIR and its last objective is utilization so all the research whatever is uh, acquired the research knowledge should be published through journals and should be given to the world so utilizing the research material research um, uh, outcome is about utilization 
and this, these are the broad five objectives of CSIR. And CSIR has got a vision. So the main vision of CSIR is to pursue science and technology. We know that. So to pursue science that will have a global impact. So our science uh, study should have a global impact and the technology should be innovation driven. So technology should be innovating everything new, should be coming out with new innovations and transdisciplinary leadership. So this uh, must be achieved with a good leadership that is involving all disciplines, transdisciplinary leadership and inclusive economic development. So in the economic development, we must include every sector and every section of community and every stream, what all we have listed here. So inclusive economic development and finally for helping the people of India. So all research that is being done must come up uh, with solutions to so many problems that Indian people or India is facing. So this is the overall vision of CSIR. And CSIR has got so many achievements. So it has achieved so much uh, of uh, things under research and development, under science and technology. And we have listed some few headings under this. Uh, and the first thing is in strategic aspect. So there is an innovation, there is a new thing of Drishti transmissometer. So this is used in planes and head up display. This is also used in aircrafts and planes and indigenous gyrotron. So we have built first gyrotron indigenously and this is used in nuclear technology. So these are some strategic innovations and coming to energy and environment. So solar tree. So we have come up with this project uh, for generating clean energy in, in very less time. So solar tree and lithium ion battery. This is also developed by CSIR. And in agriculture we have Samba Masuri, this is a kind of rice and Muktashri, this is also a kind of uh, rice crop that is uh, resistant to arsenic. So arsenic rich areas in that areas we can uh, plant this, um, this kind of variety of rice and transgenic cotton line. So this cotton, this produces cotton that is uh, resistant to white flies. And in health sector, this has come up with GOMED, a program for developing genomics and plasma gel solin and this is a new technology for dealing with premature births of uh, babies so there is a kit plasma gel solin kit to map the prematurity of a baby and jd vaccine so there is a vaccine for goats sheep and everything and such animals uh, that are prone to diseases and these are some health developments achievements and food and nutrition in this field we have sheer scanner so milk scanner to check the adulteration of milk and df salt so this is double fortified salt which has iodine and also iron in the salt and dag oil this is an anti obesity oil diacyl glycerol glycerol oil, oil and this is also uh, been developed by csir and in water aquifer aquifer mapping so what is aquifer mapping so literally mapping where uh, we have water resources in water scarce areas like Rajasthan where water is scarce. So we have to map where there is water resource. So Ganga water analysis. So analyzing what quality of Ganga uh, water is right now. And in aviation we have uh, NAL Saras plane. This is the first multi-purpose civil aircraft, civilian aircraft developed by CSIR in India and in education we have digital libraries and traditional knowledge promotion of indigenous Indian knowledge promotion under education and we have two other achievements human genome sequencing and plastic to fuel. CSIR did this uh, human genome sequencing in the year 2009 and it has also come up uh, with a project called plastic to fuel turning plastic into usable fuel and recent thing is covid ddh drug discovery hackathon so where drug can be discovered for covid it has started this program and this is a broad view about csir thank you